Thank you for joining me for Real Change. June, we have customarily celebrated it as the month for weddings and brides. But June is celebrated in some nations now as Gay Pride Month. The U.S. Embassy has again displayed the gay flag on the grounds of the embassy in support of this. There are some of our Jamaican citizens who have been staging a peaceful pro protest in objection to the insensitivity to the moral position of over 80% of our Jamaican people. The U.S. Embassy is morally wrong, even if gay pride is believed to be right in their moral code and is an accepted and honored practice by them. Moral principle demands the respect of the morals of the house in which you are a guest. Respect the, mor the code of your host. We should always respect the code of your host. Not to do so is not gay pride, but arrogant pride. It is disrespectful. It is an abuse of a privilege and a distasteful display of perceived power that says, like it or lump it. It is always poor diplomacy. I hope our government, on behalf of our people, will formally say to the U.S. government that it is distasteful and should not be repeated. They may retort that it is their property and as such, they have the freedom. On that, they would be right. But having the right doesn't make the action right. The U.S. Embassy may have the right, but on this issue, they are morally wrong. But, make receive them of any man, as, as Granny would have said, and apologize. Another issue that we must look at today is the ongoing problem of violence in our nation, the murders on the increase and how the impact upon it. Here we see it as much too often even in our schools and certainly in communities with contention between fractions within communities. This last week, a student of Cobbland High School, a 16-year-old boy, was pounced upon by those from a neighboring community and literally stabbed him easily, he could have died, hospitalized as a result. This kind of thing happens much too regularly across our nation. It almost, in many ways, becoming a way of life, and particularly that's how it is for many in our inner city communities and some rural areas. We are raising a generation with little regard for the value of human life. The message must be clear to all that human life is valuable, so don't destroy it. It must be made clear that violence is wrong, so don't do it. And everything must reinforce this message from every angle, in every way, at every opportunity. In many homes, it is the reality. In many in communities around, this is the reality. And in many homes and in too many of our inner city communities, there is a glorification of violence rather than an abhorrence of it. The pendulum is stuck on the violent side. Balance must be restored. I believe the only way to restore balance is to teach truth with clear, resolute consequences for violent behaviors. The consequences for behavior are not believed nor feared among our people anymore. And so to produce change, we must reward the desired behavior and punish the undesired behavior. Consequences for violence must be clear to all. We do not teach it sufficiently in our homes or in our schools. We've got to make sure it is priority 
on the agenda. And then the laws of society do not reinforce it enough. And if there is no fear of consequences, there will never be change in behavior. Whenever violence shows up anywhere, we should read the riot act, the riot act that must say there are consequences for action and it must make it clear to all from the smallest to the biggest consequences for action. All must fear the consequences of violent action more than the, they fear the negative venting of their anger. We've got to teach that self-control is the base quality of character and it as such should be a treasure to be possessed by all. As a nation, we must resolutely and with immediacy tackle this problem. Crime and the murder rate are overtaking our society. Why? Because there is no fear of being caught, no fear of consequences for action. It's a sad indictment on our leadership everywhere at every level. Let us deal with this issue and create change now by conscious, deliberate action. See you next time.